Okay guys, it's been a hot minute since I've received the Frank one, and I'm very excited today to actually give it a try. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a whirl. First go, I, I haven't even like YouTubed other people using this yet, which probably would have um, helped, helped me out a little bit. Oh, but um, oh my gosh, if I can get it back out of this thing, I don't wanna rip it. <sighs> Okay, so let's let's do this. It's the perfect time for a mid-afternoon coffee anyways. Okay, we're gonna do the hot brew recipe today. Um, I don't really, I actually still have cold brews sitting in my fridge right now, so we're gonna do something hot because I also don't wanna wait so many hours. Um, Okay, yeah, I think that's everything out of the box. And I have the little plug-in. I don't think I need it yet, but we'll see. Um, so we'll take all this plastic off. Ooh, nothing more satisfying. Oof, fresh. Okay, so I'm gonna get my coffee first. Today I'm gonna use the Bourbon City from Las Chicas. Um, okay, so. From what I understand, I'm just gonna put the coffee in and brew it and fill it up with water as per normal. And then push the button and it, and it vacuums it to the bottom. If I have this correct. So I think this is my little stir stick. Fancy little stir stick. I just don't know what this is. Hmm. You know what? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm just gonna place my little, my, my thing on this. I don't know. I could be, I could be wrong. This is a very interesting um, brew method. It like reminds me of uh, like a French press in a way, the way I'm like adding coffee and water directly to each other. But it also has the essence of a pour over in the sense that I'm literally pouring water over it. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I have my water set to 94. I'm just gonna evenly, you know, fill it up, I suppose. Okay, I, fill, I filled it up. I'm gonna let it sit for four minutes and I'm gonna stir it. Okay, it's been a few minutes. So I put my lid on. Okay, I'm gonna press the button and see what happens here. Look at it flowing, that's so cool. That was crazy. That's so cool. And it extracts so um, evenly. Now to taste it, I suppose. Let me grab a, a mug. I mean, it smells great. I. This is crazy. I feel like that was so simple. You don't need filters. I mean, it smells delightful. It's really hot right now. Look at the water was a little hot. That was so fast. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's delicious. You know what I love about this cup? Okay, this is so interesting. Frankie, Frank my boy. Okay, this is cool because you get the, the flavor um, of a French press, like very full, um, very rich, but um, it's pulled through in a way that gives it a really like silky body. And it's like, has the, um, the personality of a pour over. 
in this all-in-one thing. I mean, this is exciting. This is really cool things happening um, in the coffee industry. I love this. And for those of you who don't know, there's like a crazy Kmex filter, um, you know, shortage. <laughs> this pandemic has uh, has everybody brewing coffee at home. So to get your hands on a Kmex filter right now is like a joke. <laughs> it's like, that is a flex if you can get some filters right now. So this is such a, I was so happy to have this show up at my doorstep because it doesn't need filters. I can charge it right here next to my um, kettle. This is the perfect size. I'm the only one in the house who drinks coffee. So to be brewing a K-Mix right now versus this, you know, this would be a waste at this time for me. So this is really beautiful. I don't know what else to say. I, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really pleased. I don't know what I expected, but really cool. Frank, Frank DePaula, you've done well, my man. Okay, so there you have it, you guys. That is my unboxing and review of the Frank One pour over. I am enjoying this coffee so much. I'm so excited about this new brew method of mine. This pour over is very exciting. You know I love to play around with my coffee. So this was so, so, so cool. If you wanna get your hands on one, head over to 8 Ounce Coffee. I'll put the link in the bio. Um, and I, I recommend it now more than ever with everybody brewing at home. It's really important to support your local roasters, support direct trade, and support the industries giving us these incredible Incredible tools. So, um, yeah, all the links will be below, um, and we'll keep you posted with more exciting things soon. Bye!